Hello students, today we are going to talk about phenolic compounds and their biosynthesis. Phenolic compounds are a diverse class of bioactive scanty metabolites and are of high and significant importance. They can be described as compounds that contain aphetol moiety. Moiety, if you remember, is a part of chemical structure of a molecular compound that could include a substructure such as any functional group. They are ubiquitous in nature, means they are present in various types of fruits and vegetables. Phenol itself is a benzene ring. This is benzene ring that is substituted with hydroxyl group, right? So its systematic name is hydroxybenzene. Phenolic compound display a wide range of biological activities, including antioxidants, antimicrobial, uh, anti-inflammatory properties, etc. Such properties allow phenolic compounds be able to reduce various uh, illnesses and diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer, and hypertension, etc. The antioxidants and antimicrobial properties enable phenolic compounds to function as food preservatives and additives. In addition, phenolic compounds have application uh, in cosmetics and uh, packaging industries. Phenolic compounds can be classified into two types, simple phenolic compounds and polyphenolic compounds. Simple substituted phenol compounds can be hydroxyphenols or dihydroxybenzenes. For example, catcol, uh, resorcinol, hydroquinones. These are examples of simple phenolic compounds. Polyphenolic compounds are uh, compounds that contain more than one phenol unit, right? Are called polyphenolic compounds. They have carbon 15 general skeleton uh, representation. First, simple phenolic compounds. Phenols that contain a carboxylic acids are termed as phenolic acids. I'll repeat. Phenols that contain a carboxylic acid are termed as phenolic, uh, phenolic acids, right? If the carboxylic acid functional group is directly bonded to phenol ring, the phenolic compound is termed as hydroxybenzoic acid. I'll show, the, uh, show you the structure. When carboxylic acid functional group and the phenol ring are separated by two doubly bonded carbons, phenolic compounds are termed as hydroxycinamic acids. Just look at this structure, hydroxybenzoic acids, right? Hydroxybenzoic acids are benzoic acids substituted with this hydroxyl group, right? Here, phenols are substituted with carboxylic acid functional group that is directly bonded to phenol ring, right? There called hydroxybenzoic acids. Then hydroxycinamic acids. When carboxylic acid functional group is separated, this group, carboxylic acid functional group, separated from this phenol ring by carbon-carbon uh, double bond. Phenolic acids are uh, termed as hydroxycinamic acids, right? Then hydroxycumarins. Hydroxycumarins are hydroxyl substituted cumarins. They are also uh, examples of uh, phenolic compounds. Then polyphenolic compounds, as I already told you, when uh, more than one phenol units are present, are called polyphenolic compounds. Polyphenolic compounds have carbon-15 general skeleton representation. Examples, first is flavonoids. Flavonoids have general structure of 15 carbon skeleton, I can see here, which consists of two phenyl rings, A and B, and a heterocyclic third ring, C. C ring containing embedded oxygen, right? And A and B are phenyl rings. This carbon structure can be abbreviated as C6, C3, C6. Ring A and C, right? A and C are either mono 
di or trihydroxylated depending on the number of uh, hydroxyl group attached and ring b heterocycle b is usually a pyrone ring next example of polyphenolic compound is tannins tannins are known to bind to and precipitate proteins and amino acids they are uh, subdivided into three types hydrolyzable condensed and complex tannins hydrolyzable tannins contain a uh, polyol core usually a carbohydrate to which phenolic acids are linked by ester bonds right condensed tannins are formed by catkin units through c4 c8 or uh, uh, c6 or c8 links right and uh, complex tannins complex tannins are a class of compounds composed of flavone 3 ol the unit of condensed tannins and hydrolyzed tannins which are partially linked by carbon carbon bond right then other phenolic compounds like stilbenes lignans lignins stilbenes are these stilbenes are phenolic compounds in which two phenol units are linked by two double bonded uh, means uh, doubly bonded carbons right then lignans lignans consist of two phenol units linked by four carbons and lignins consist of phenol units or phenolic compounds that are linked with each other by carbon chain right next is biosynthesis of phenolic compounds there are two general pathways for the biosynthesis of phenolic compounds first is shikimic acid pathway and the second is the phenyl propenoid pathway first is shikimic acid pathway in the shikimic acid pathway just look at this diagram phosphoenol pyruvate and erythrose 4 phosphate react with each other in few steps if more than one arrow means more steps to provide 3 dehydroquinate this is 3 dehydroquinate right then dehydration of this 3 dehydroquinate with enzyme shikimate dehydrogenase it gives 3 dehydroshikimic acid this is right next step is reduction this 3 uh, dehydroshikimic acid uh, could also lead to formation of gallic acid uh, in several steps right in reduction step with reduction with nadph it gives shikimic acid this is shikimic acid then this shikimic acid is converted into uh, chorismic acid this is chorismic acid which undergoes uh, glycine rearrangement to form prephenic acid this is prephenic acid right then this prephenic acid uh, is then converted in several steps into tyrosine right this is tyrosine and amino acid this amino acid serves as a central point and a crucial precursor for the biosynthesis of various phenolic compounds right so this is shikimic acid pathway uh, for formation of phenolic compounds second is phenyl propenoid pathway this is another route toward phenolic uh, compound uh, biosynthesis this route is essentially similar to the shikimic acid pathway until l phenyl alanine stage right where um, uh, phenyl propenoid pathway then take form l phenyl alanine first this phosphoenol pyruvate and erythrase 4 phosphate react to form shikimic acid right from here then from shikimic acid l phenyl alanine is formed right then this l phenyl alanine undergoes deamination right and uh, this step is catalyzed by enzyme phenyl alanine ammonia lyase pal enzyme to give cinnamic acid this is cinnamic acid then hydroxylation of this cinnamic acid and then followed by conversion to the uh, coenzyme A. This coenzyme A it provides P 
cumeroidal coenzyme A, right? This is P cumeroidal coenzyme A, right? This molecule means P cumeroidal coenzyme A serve as a central point toward the formation of various phenolic compounds, right? So this is all about biosynthesis of phenolic compounds. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.